Now that you know how to launch the measure command and set input filters, let's go ahead and take some measurements. If you don't already have the command enabled, go ahead and right click in the graphics window and select measure. Because the filters are remembered from previous steps, make sure you have select faces and edges selected. And then we can rotate the model to the side and zoom in so that we can take some measurements. I'm gonna start by selecting the face on the side of this model. And you'll notice that the measure window updates with information about what has been selected. Here you can see selection one is a face and perimeter and area are presented as the measurement for that face. At any point during the measurement command, you can click anywhere other than on a model in the graphics window to clear your selections. This makes it quite easy to clear selections and make additional measurements. In this case, I'm gonna measure the angle between the carburetor mount and the top of the engine mount. Turns out it's 15 degrees. You'll also see that now that we have multiple faces selected, we have two different options here in the measure window to provide information about each of those selections. Down at the bottom of the window, you'll notice under advanced settings, which may be collapsed, you can expand it with the arrow to the right. You have the option to set precision for all your dimensions, all your angle precisions, or your dual dimensions. In this case, right now we're set to none. Let's go ahead and select millimeter from this list and expand our browser just a little bit. And you'll see we now have the ability to see dual dimensions. Let's go ahead and leave these dual dimensions up and we'll select a couple new options. I'm gonna rotate and zoom in so that we can measure these holes. If we select the top of the hole, you'll notice that it's an eighth of an inch in diameter. The heads up display is updated to show that. And the window only shows one selection. Let's go ahead and select the other top of the hole. And you can now see that we're measuring the distance between their centers. Here in the measure window, you can see center distance is selected. If you move down and select minimum distance, you can see the heads up display updates to show the minimum distance between the holes. And you even have maximum dimensions as well. Again, remember at any point when you're ready to move on, you can simply left click in the graphics window to clear your selections.